Hello, hello, hello. This will be my third time trying to record this, so bear with me. Basically, I'm showing you guys a much, much later room spot. Room glitch, yada, yada, yada. We are currently in the deep root fence, which. Uh, a real fun place. Just. Actually, it's a really good area, because it's got a lot of, like, mid to late game items that you will need to, like, upgrade yourself. So, uh, yeah. But, yeah. Sorry if I'm being a little quiet for this, you know, tutorial, but I'm trying to really focus on this, because this is my third time trying. Because... Don't worry, I'm not picking that up because there's nothing there. Okay. Nope. Nope. Okay, we made it up. We made it up. And here's the thing. Just gotta keep jumping. Gotta aim for this spot right here. Okay, we've made it. After we get to here, it's pretty much just a guarantee that we get up. So we gotta be real careful just to not accidentally slip off. Because once we get up here, that's pretty much the biggest problem. Falling by accident. Yeah. But, while we're up here, because... Unless I fail horribly... Yeah, we're pretty good. So basically, once you get into capital, through the bridge, all you gotta do is go underground. From right here. Yep. Which, if you don't know... On your way through this part right here, because it should push you between these buildings, and then up a giant dragon to get here. Yeah. But, yeah, once you get up there, you can just go back, and there's a small well in the ground. So if you go underground, you can find... Well, eventually after you explore the sewers a great little distance, you will eventually find... The Frenzied Flame. If you go to the right, there's a secret chest room, which I'll show you after this, just so there's no confusion. I want to go this way. Yeah, you just go through there. There's a small path in there. And just like before, we jump off, we swing our blade, and we will fall through the map. And this one, however, takes slightly longer, but it does give you so much more. And if you do it your first time, it gives you a bunch of very high level rooms, like the one use ones, like the Numian room, and I believe a few Lord rooms as well. All in all, it's, it's difficult to get up to, but once you do it like once, you got it for the rest of the time. The only downside that I don't like about this area is that it's much harder to like gauge how much longer it's gonna take. It's like for the last one, up in the Mogwin Palace, you can kind of gauge when it's going to happen because all of like I believe the red streaks on the map just kind of fade away. And you're just in a blue void. And about four or five seconds after that. Now, you might be thinking, 3,700? 37,000, that's all? No, no it's not. You gotta keep falling. Let's see, there's more. And then all those. Which I believe we can get some more? Actually... Which, in general, I don't believe this one is as good. But I do recommend it for your first time. Because I think it's just about the same. Just about. Because all you gotta do is fall. And the other one's much easier to get to. Because this one, I think you have to fall for longer. And I think we've got everything. 
Okay. It looks like it's starting to taper off, so let's go ahead and get back up. Yeah. So we don't get as much as the other one, but considering this was our first time, we got quite a few things we can use, huh? And look at all these. We got three Numian rooms, three hero rooms. A, a hero room three, hero room four, and a lord's room. And we got a good couple of them, huh? But anyway, uh, the last thing I'm going to show you guys is should be here. Frenzied flame prescription, which there's an easy way to uh, get to the bottom without doing all the parkour. Yeah, basically. From the Frenzy Friends site, but you come down from the roof. Yeah, I know. You come over here, there is a hidden wall, there's a chest. Now, what you might not know, because I knew about the hidden chest. But one time, I accidentally hit the roll button, and the wall right behind the chest is an invisible wall. And it lets open to this and that. Now, here is the tip I will also give you. One last tip before I end this episode. Because this is more or less just an easy way to get down here. First, to get down here, I'm not going to show you that just because I hate the sewers and I always fall down the holes. Basically, there's a mini mob boss fight here. Kill him. You can even, if you get a seedbed curse and go free the dung eater, you can have him as an ally. Which, pretty good. Uh, yeah, just get yourself a great sword. Even just a base level one should work. And you just drop down from here on this. Okay. Carefully walk back up. A good way to judge it is by looking at the spot where you think you're gonna land. Okay, we're down. Now see this guy. Oh, he's playing that music. Here's what you do. You bomb them. And I missed. I'm going to try one more time, just because that is how you do it. I just miss. I just tapped the wrong button. Uh, but, yeah. If you think you might struggle with this, try and aim for, like, going further and hitting, like, the part where it widens, like, right there. It's a bit. I'll give it to him. It's a bit of a. See, this is all you got it. Gotta try and get them a little further off, but still. And we survived barely, but that's what you gotta do. You gotta go a little further to the side, because. We went to the right side of him just because I was on the wrong side when I slapped him. I'm gonna do it one more time. Okay? Just because out of everything, I think this trick is the more important of the two I'm showing in this video. Just because the parkour to the bottom of Friends of Flame is one of, the, if not the most annoying things in this game. We bonked him, and there we go. See? That's all you gotta do. And you can just put your sword away. It's any of the basic great swords. It has to be a great sword, though. Just a, not the mega great sword, just the normal one. And that'll be it. Those are the two major room spots I know, except for the just sit down and wait at the war dead catacombs, but that doesn't give you as much as the other two, and it takes much longer. It's better for AFK, like if you don't want to bother with anything, but eh. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Peace.